nice solid granny square. Y'all can make them as big or as small as y'all want. You can add on as many rounds as you want and make as big of a granny square as you want. This one is only four rounds uh, big and it is going to be a new pattern for a blanket, a baby blanket that I'm doing. I like starting out in the circle because I like how it makes it seem so solid and not as holy as a type of um, star. I like the solid star. And it also makes a great start if you want to do them and do appliques and put on them. So we'll jump right into it and I'll show you how to get started. And to start, I'm just going to make a magic circle. And I am going to chain two. Okay, this chain two will not count as a stitch, so just keep that in mind. This is not a stitch. And I'm going to work 10 double crochet in this circle. So I'll just speed it up while I work 10 double crochet. <laughs> Your 10 double crochet in your magic circle. Remember, you're not counting this chain two, so don't count it as a stitch. But after you do that, you're going to grab the tail and you're going to pull it tight in the middle, and we're going to slip stitch into our very first double crochet. So there is 10 stitches. Now for round two, we will chain two, and again, this will not count as a stitch, and we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. So I will just speed the video up while I work two double crochet in each stitch. Okay, after you've worked two double crochet in each stitch around, you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet, not the chain two, make sure it's the double crochet. Slip stitch and you should have 20 stitches at the end of round two. And going on to round three, this is the round where we will make it start to form a square. So going on, we will chain three. Now this chain three will count as a stitch from here on out. So for every row that we start with a chain three, it counts as a stitch. And now we're going to work another double crochet in the same stitch that we done the chain three out of. We're going to chain two, and we're going to work two more double crochet in this very same stitch, because we are making a corner. Okay, and there is a corner. Continuing on, we will work a double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to make the side of our square. I'm going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches. I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then this next stitch, we're going to make another corner. So in this next stitch, we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two more double crochet. So there's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in that same stitch. And there's another corner. And now I'm just gonna repeat what I did on this side for this side. We're going to go across the side and repeat that. Now I'm going to repeat what I've done on this side for this side across. So after we make our corner, we will work a double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, and then we are going to do another corner in the next stitch. So we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to do the same thing that we've done the other two sides across. Double crochet in the next stitch, work a half double crochet in the next two stitches, a double crochet in the next, and then work another corner in the next stitch. So two double crochet, chain two, 
and two double crochet. And now you'll work the same as we have been on the other sides, double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, and then a double crochet in this last stitch. And then we will slip stitch into the top of our chain three because it counts as a double crochet. And that is the end of round three. Okay, going on to round four, we're going to slip stitch in this next stitch and then slip stitch in the corner space. So now we're going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet. And then I'm going to work another double crochet chain two and two more double crochet in the corner so y'all can probably see the pattern that is starting to come about now of how it works and then I'm going to work a double crochet in each stitch across until I reach this chain two space which is the corner space so we're just gonna work double crochet each stitch <laughs> When you reach your chain two corner space you're going to work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet and that pretty much is it we will continue around the square double crochet in each stitch and working two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in each corner until we get all the way back to the beginning and I will catch up with y'all when I get back to the beginning and finish this round. Okay so when you reach the very end of round four you will simply slip stitch into the top of that chain three and that is basically all there is to making a solid granny square you can continue round four for as many rows as you would like and make them as big as you would like i'm gonna stop here for the certain specific projects i have in mind with these i hope y'all liked this tutorial if y'all did be sure and click subscribe and be sure and check out my blog for lots of free crochet patterns and other stitch tutorials happy